We are living in the future. And I can prove it because I've got a new personal assistant and she's a robot. Let's see if she can help me navigate the complexities of modern office life. Meet my lovely new secretary called Amy Ingram. Uh, sadly, she's not real in any sense. She's not even a robot. She's entirely online and I chat to her via email. What Amy claims to do is do one thing very well and that is help me run my diary, particularly scheduling meetings. So how does Amy work? Well, you sign up with her and then she sends you an email. And she says, click here to connect all of your calendars. So that's what I'm doing. I then have to put in my scheduling preferences. So I'm setting all these preferences via the x.ai website, but in fact, I could just email Amy with, you know, I really like coffee meetings in the morning on a Tuesday, and if you should mention the word beer, that means I want to meet after work, and she'll sort it out all for you. The key thing is, and this is what's so strange and unnerving, is you copy Amy in to all correspondence you have with your contacts about a meeting, and then Amy takes over. Now, I've been getting to grips with Amy over the last week or so, and uh, she's sort of taken over my life. Uh, I was contacted by someone in the PR industry who wanted to meet for breakfast, and I said, great. I copied Amy into this correspondence, and I said, how about the Wolsey on Wednesday? And the Wolsey happens to be a well-known restaurant that I knew this PR person would know, but Amy's come back to me saying, I see you would like to use the Wolsey as location for this meeting to make sure that you and Poppy don't miss each other and you give me an exact address. And I thought I'd be very difficult and I just said Piccadilly, which is a huge big street. Uh, but to give credit, the next thing I heard, Amy comes back to me with a diary invite with indeed the completely correct address at the time and it's sent out to both me and to Poppy. Though curiously, I see that Amy has invited herself to breakfast, but as she's virtual, I'm, not, I'm sure she can slip in very easily uh, for a flat white and a croissant. Now I like the fact that here I've got from Poppy saying, I've been going through my emails communicating with Amy and I thought she was a real person. So Amy clearly does what she says on the tin. Well, a lot of people predicted that 2016 would be the year of AI. And based on Amy, they might be right. She behaves like a human and she sends out emails on my behalf in very human speak and signs them off as from Amy Ingram, personal assistant to Harry Wallop, which for me is a little bit pompous as a journalist. But if you are a startup business or a consultant, I can see that adds real kudos to your fledgling business. OK, she can't yet book me hotel tickets or train tickets or buy flowers for my wife on her birthday. But other companies are all working on this sort of idea. Are we living in the future? I think we might just be. Get ready to hand over your life to Amy.